This is kind of a coming of age story at uh, the ripe age of 19 or 20 <laughs> years old. Um, I went to Poland. There. Okay. I went to Poland, um, my first international adventure. I decided to go over there and do Habitat for Humanity. And it was a city they call Gdańsk. That's how you, how you say it. Um, and um, and we had a break, so I um, decided to go to a spa and get a massage, and uh, get a massage therapist. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm a, a massage therapist, but this was before I'd gone to massage school, so I wasn't that comfortable with my body um, yet. <laughs> For those of you that have gone to massage school, you know it. It's an interesting school, um, but <laughs> <laughs> learned a lot, um, but not before this experience. So I decided to get a massage and go to a spa, and it was this spa that was like, kind of like a YMCA, but then there was like a little spa part, and they're like, oh, you can get a massage and then go to the saunas, and each little sauna had infused essential oils, and it sounded amazing. Um, so um, I go into the front desk, and the lady spoke English, and she gave me a little towel to wrap around and some slippers and I'm just like okay <laughs> and I like shuffle into they're like oh you can go get your massage at this door um down the hall to the right so I go and shuffle in and I'm like oh massage okay and this like beefy Polish dude is there so, white hair white coat the whole room was just white and um he's like kill all. and like <laughs> shakes my hand I'm like hi and then he just motions to the table, um, which didn't have any sheets on there. Um, so I, he turned around, <laughs> very grateful, and I just um, placed the towel over me, figuring that this is what you do. And um, so I'm sitting there, and I have the towel kind of draped there. And um, he starts, you know, working my arm and going up. I'm like, okay, this is good. Then I feel like a little tug at my towel, like it was falling off. So I instantly just went like this. And, um, and then I hear, towel off. <laughs> and I'm like, towel on? <laughs> and and he again says, towel off. And I'm like, towel on. <laughs> and then he just goes, and keeps massaging, and um, we make it through the whole massage, um, successfully covered. Um, and he just kind of, okay, and like leaves, and I'm like, okay. And I like put my towel back on, and I my slippers, and I'm like shuffling, okay, glad that's over, I'm gonna go relax in some saunas. So I'm like shuffling out and looking around, and, and I see like, it was this big like room with tiles, and there was these like kind of circular Thing, pillars coming up and you open the door and go in. So there's a few of them. So I go into door number one <laughs> and open the door only to be greeted by a strapping young <laughs> Polish man, which was better than, than the older guy, I suppose, um, <laughs> <laughs> sitting with his leg on the bench, sitting with his leg up like this, <laughs> arm over, and he just goes, hi. <laughs> Completely nude. Um, so I was front and center with a Polish sausage. <laughs> um, <laughs> important backstory. I was, I grew up Mormon. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I am no longer, but I, um, I grew up <laughs> pretty sheltered. And this was my very <laughs> first experience with a naked man. <laughs> so there was my eyes wide open and my jaws dropped and I just <laughs> and I just slowly back away <laughs> thinking like where where am I what is happening and then I look around and like all of a sudden like coming out of the word book are naked Polish men <laughs> everywhere I look like this weird twisted twilight zone <laughs> and I'm just like hugging my towel and being like <laughs> And they're all looking at me, and I'm just the only female there. Not only the only woman, but the only like young woman. And so I grab my towel and I shuffle over, and I'm like, kind of 
gonna have a panic attack. And then I go to um, door number two, like seeking solace of some sort, and no one was in there. So, um, so I open the door and I'm like, oh, okay, keeping the towel on, obviously. I sit down and I start taking some deep breaths. And right when I start to calm down, another man walks in. Um, this time, similar to the the first one, very um, large, um, silver-haired man, and we make <laughs> eye contact, and he had a towel on. So I was like, okay, I can do this. <laughs> like, <laughs> skin on tile, echoing through <laughs> the sauna. And, uh, and I'm trapped. He's right by the door, and I was a polite young lady and I didn't want to just like up and leave um, not nurturing my own needs at this point in my life <laughs> and um, <laughs> so I just I'm like what am I gonna do so I just close my eyes and I start breathing and inhaling and just like accepting that I'm in this foreign land and uncomfortable and there are gonna be new experiences um, and we just sit and we breathe together. And it was the first time I really accepted um, being uncomfortable and being like the odd man out, so to speak. Um, and so we sat and chilled uh, for a little bit. And um, he got up and left, and I got up and left. And then, um, so that was interesting. And so then I go and I change back into my clothes, and I go back to the front desk, and I hand in my towel and my slippers. And she's like, how was it? And I'm like, it was good, um, except I didn't know it was, it was co-ed. And she's like, oh, yeah, but uh, most of the women come on Wednesdays. It's ladies' night. <laughs> and I'm like, hindsight, I should have probably done some research on Europe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> But uh, that's my story. <laughs>